What's going on YouTube? This is Jeremy again, just coming back to you with another how-to video. Um, this is an experimental thing that I have come up with of my own. You know I fix cell phones and, and stuff like that on the side and anything really. But I, I just love tinkering with stuff. But I have always kind of wanted to have a vacuum chamber for whenever I do my cell phone or my cellular repair. You know, you put loco glue on it and it's hard to get all the air bubbles out when you do it and then you have to cure it with a uv light so i just got to thinking i was like what if i could create a vacuum chamber that was plexiglass that would allow me to pull a vacuum and possibly cure the glue at the same time so that's what i did and we're gonna we're gonna see together if it worked i do know that the vacuum chamber works i have never stuck a phone in it to try it so uh, but i'm going to show you everything i used and um and uh if you want to build your own uh, you might want to use a thicker plexiglass than what i've used i just used this because it was it was free so um anyhow yeah i'm going to get back to you in just a second and go over the materials and and all that and explain everything that i did all right so what you have here is a vacuum chamber homemade made by yours truly and what i have is a uh, you know a few pieces of plexiglass that I have and I didn't know how you put plexiglass together when I first got it I thought maybe you solder it. I thought oh and ignore all this. I'm, I'm not the best uh, Plexiglass solder in the world, but hey it worked. <laughs> it don't matter But uh, anyhow all I've done here is uh, had the uh, the hardware store pre-cut these pieces You want these edges as smooth as you can um, they pre-cut this box for me I, as you can see I didn't even get it all lined up exactly like it needed to be but it really doesn't matter and I put a valve stem on this side with goop before I did anything and you also want to make sure you use a hole saw and go real slow when you do this and you don't want to thread anything into the plexiglass because of the crack so we put it through put a nut on the back put goop on it to seal it off and on this side I just simply have a port I don't know if you can see because I don't know where the GoPro is pointing but that's the place to hook your vacuum hose and here's the box it's just you know solid box and as you can see oh uh, let's see if i can show you see how the edges of this are real shiny that lets you know you have a good bond with your plexiglass uh, if it's dull looking you don't and what i did was i took a lid and all i did was put weather stripping around it and i'm not really crazy about this weather stripping i've got some better kind that came from uh walmart that i would actually like to use but this isn't quite as soft i guess as i'd, I'd like to have i guess the squishier the better but i took this and i layered um uh, around the edge i put my um you know my, my weather stripping and then i came back in with goop to try to fill in the corners or all around the edge just in case any air were to try to escape all around here and what you do is you obviously you put your lid on you just place the lid on top and see how it's got a bow in it you just kind of apply pressure like that you have to have a vacuum pump which is right here and you just hook your vacuum hose onto here and hold down the lid and turn it on and it should suck down and create a vacuum on the inside of the chamber what i'm going to do as an experiment i've got this uv light here that's used for fingernails i'm going to try to pull a vacuum on the phone with glue on it i just got a scrap iphone i'm going to try it with and um i'm going to place this on top and turn it on and see if i can cure the glue at the same time as pulling a vacuum that'd be kind of neat and um also if you want to learn how to weld um there's several videos online but you will definitely need this stuff called um weld on four weld w-e-l-d dash on four and it's for acrylics pretty cool it's pretty simple you basically just put it in this bottle this bottle has a syringe on it you squeeze the, all the air out you turn it upside down and that lets air suck in so it doesn't just drip on your plexiglass as you go and all you do is put your plexiglass on top of each other square a bead all the way down and just hold it uh use a square or something like that to try to hold it level as you can and then uh you hold it for maybe a good minute or so and you can you can pretty much start to let go of it and it cures within 24 hours this has been over 24 hours so we're just gonna you know see what happens but i'm gonna gather up some more materials and i'll be back to you in just a minute all right y'all here we go we're gonna give this a try 
I am no local glue expert by any means. I don't really care. This is, like I said, this is an iPhone that I took apart. Um, this is the glass off of it. This is the LCD. And I am not going to reuse this, so it really doesn't matter. But we're going to take it, and we're going to try to, you know, put the, uh, put the uh, glue on there. See what happens. So, here we go. Good Lord. I don't even know how you take this off. Let me see if I can figure this out. One thing I can't figure out, I've never seen a video on really how to use this stuff, but how the heck are you supposed to, you know, you pick your thumb and push in there, or what are you supposed to do with this stuff? I really don't know, but anyhow. I figure it'd be a good idea to take your uh, blower, probably blow it off, get any old dust off of it. Same as your, your screen here. And, um, the phone's not going to, this LCD's not going to lay down too good, but I'll just do the old dog bone shape here. Come on down. And like I said, this is just an experiment. We don't really care what we get out of this. Put the lid back on it. Take the glass here. I wonder if we should let you know mash it. Actually try to try to mash it and make it show. Make it do its thing or let the vacuum pump do it. See the bubbles in there? You see them because I see them. I put it on a piece of cardboard because I know it's going to make a mess. But um, yeah, I thought maybe use wax paper. That'd probably be good. Here we go. We're going to hold this lid down. We're going to turn this vacuum on. See if we got a vacuum yet. Lid's down. I'm not seeing anything cool happen there. Wonder if I can turn the vacuum up on this thing. I think what's going on is I have a leak somewhere because I hear air. I mean, I've got a vacuum, I just don't have a super strong vacuum. I mean, I've got a good vacuum. It's not as strong as I want it to be. Well, golly, this is disappointing. See if I can find where my air is escaping at. I bet you once you find it. You'd know right off the bat. It's down. I don't know if you can see it, but the lid is actually pulling in. That definitely not pulling the bubbles out of the loco glue. Try me a little experiment on uh, YouTube here. And it ain't working. It's my failure. Alright YouTube, so what I have discovered is, um, and I made some modifications going to try this. I put a little bit of that softer weather stripping that I was telling you about around the edges. And this thing definitely creates a vacuum because it'll suck the lid in. But apparently that does not aid in the process of getting bubbles out of your local glue. 
so i guess what we're gonna have to do i was just gonna show you that the vacuum works um is use the other what they call it oka or something i think you can use but um check this out let's see if i can make it do it it'll actually pull the walls in I don't know if you can see it. It'll pull so hard, it'll roll the, the stuff in. But what I do want to try is while there is a vacuum pulled on there, just to see if, if this was going to work. Ah, my vacuum broke. That insulation is so soft. No, it didn't break. See it? Yeah, it did. It pulled in right here. See? That stuff is so soft. Watch it it back and back off which is kind of cool i still that just lets me know my vacuum chamber work if i could go back in time and and uh and i probably will i'll get a bigger lid and the lid will overhang on all the edges that'll make it a lot more strong and you don't have to worry about it you know sliding in then it has no choice but to seal it can't break a vacuum like that so um but either way this is all i have for this video so we're going to try it one more time we're going to pull the vacuum there it goes, sucking down. Before it breaks, I'm gonna take that UV light, lay on the top. Ah, it already broke a vacuum. No, it didn't, because I don't I don't hear it. Either way, let's just give it a few seconds. I just wanna see um Thank you. I don't know if you, I don't even know how Oka or whatever glue or tape or adhesive or whatever it is, how it works. If you have to use a UV light though, I want to know if you could take it and still cure it through the actual vacuum chamber. Man, I wish I'd have made a bigger lid. I'm going to get that though. I'm going to come back with a different video and try that again. At least to just try to pull a vacuum um you know but either way hey this is still cool it's not a complete fail this is a vacuum homemade built vacuum chamber and it works so i'm glad of that that's that's pretty cool i don't know what you can do in a vacuum chamber but you can do something but uh anyhow i'll come back in a minute well i guess i can just stay on here and see what happens leave that under the uv light here for just a couple minutes I'm just curious to know if it's even curing at all through that plexiglass like that. I'm almost wondering if I should go back and plexiglass in some braces in between here and lay a flat piece across the top that this stuff could actually sit on. That would be better probably. But I don't know, I probably can get by with just what I've been doing. Because if you have a, a lid that's actually pulling flat down on top of it instead of trying to pull in on the sides, it won't roll that it won't roll that um stuff like that right there let's see what happened let's turn this off I hear it I'm gonna have it tan his hands in in the town Did it cure? I wonder. I know it's real wet. Look how nasty. This stuff is so nasty. Let's see if it cured. Let's see if I can slide this assembly off. No, you cannot. See? So it's there. So that that's pretty cool. I mean, uh, not that there's nothing you could do any any other normal way, but 
if you can figure this out um you know in terms of creating a vacuum and maybe if i get a because let me show you something this vacuum i don't know if you can see the pressure gauge here this thing pulls 30 with nothing on it when i put my finger on it you're talking like 60 and you hear that tight seal well, i'm not getting that tight seal i'm getting when i put the lid on yes i'm caving the lid in but i'm only getting like right now there's a vacuum pulled because it's pulling the lid in and it's not changing much at all see it pulled my lid in there so i think i just need to go back with a larger lid because when the vacuum starts to get strong it pulls the lid in if there was a stronger vacuum on it it might pull those bubbles out of that glue i'm not sure so but anyhow this has been another how-to video like i said this is part one i'll build a bigger lid i'll go get a bigger piece cut and i'll try it again and may not try this particular phone but we may just try to i don't know i think i've got some spare glass at the house and we can try it with something so all right well till next time see you later